What's up, Bolt fans? Haley Elwood here, and if you're feeling like you're not quite ready for Chargers game day, well, buckle up, because you came to the right place. Over the next 30 minutes, we're bringing you exclusive interviews, analysis, player features, and access you can't get anywhere else. How you do it matters. Well, we've arrived, so let's get you caught up. This is Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. The Bolts may be on a bye this week, but the team is 4-2, and two, so we're going to keep the Chargers content rolling. Let's rewind to last week's game in Baltimore. Now, one bright spot in that game against the Ravens was the play of linebacker Kaiser White. White had two picks on Ravens QB Lamar Jackson, so let's listen in on his game day in this week's Mic'd Up, powered by Pernia Law. I got Yes, sir, baby. You already know. You already know, baby. Showtime. Showtime. Hey, Mr. Drew and K-9, we got to hold it down, fellas. Yep. I would I will not rather have anybody out here to go to war with today, baby. Let's be great. Let's get 1% better today. Play with that heart. Play with that passion. We dogs out here, man. And like we say every week, separate the men from the boys. Bosses do what they want. Suckers do what they can, man. Let's go. LBs on three. LBs on three. One, two, three. LBs. I had strips last year, but I need to pick today, though. Let's go now. Let's run. Let's run. Hey, everything moving, man. Everything moving, champ. Ooh. Come on, baby. We ain't come here to lose, bro. Come the f on. Sir, Jerry. Come on, yo. We did not come out here to lose, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, we've been here before. Come on, let's ride, dog. Come on. DJ, I need you. Come on. Let's go, baby. We Gucci, baby. Stay cool, calm, and collected, baby. I got you, baby. Come on, I got you. I got you. Yeah, we need a turnover right here, yeah. Hey, get that ball, man. Excellent. With time, over the middle, Ooh. intercepted. And that's picked off by Kaiser White. And White Ooh. inside the Baltimore 30 yard line. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'll do this. Ain't hit him with the spin. Ooh. Ain't hit him with the spin. You hear me? Let's keep doing it. That's momentum right there. Come on. Apparently got the snap off. Jackson. Can't get away. It goes down. Come on, baby. Come on. Find out what we made of. Yeah, bro, we're not laying down. Hey, we're not lay down. laying down. Don't lay down. We're not laying down, bro. We ain't laying the f down. Keep we're we going to. This is when we find we're out here. what we is. <laughs> hey, that was a pick, though. That little whip. I'm, I'm on that, baby. I'm telling you. Hey, we not laying down, bro. We're not laying down. No matter how it go, we not laying down, bro. We good, y'all. Keep fighting. I'm gonna fight with y'all to the zero zero. Yes, sir. Hey, I'm gonna fight with y'all to zero zero, bro. Yes, sir. Ain't no laying down, bro. Let's go, dog. Love you, baby. Love you, bro. I'm gonna fight with you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm with you. I'm with you. Lamar to throw, middle of the field, intercepted. Kaiser White picks off his second pass today. That's a pick. Let's go, man. Great job, baby. Great job. Hey, my dog. Oh, dog. Hey, I told you. I got the best hands in the room, man. Hey. Coming up, we visit Sugarland, Texas with Rashawn Slater. And later, we see how the Chargers helped out one of their biggest fans when they needed it most. This segment of Chargers HQ was powered by Toyota. Welcome back to Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. Long before Rashawn Slater was a first round draft pick of the Los Angeles Chargers, he spent his formative years growing up in Sugarland, Texas. I got a chance to go back to the left tackle's hometown and reminisce about some spots that carry a lot of meaning to him in this week's homecoming presented by American Airlines. First of all, I mean, good to, good to see y'all. Good to be back. 
All right, guys, we have arrived in Sugarland, Texas, and we are about to go get Rashawn Slater right now. What's up? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome to Sugarland. Thank you for having us out here. Ready to go take a tour of it? Let's do it. Okay. What's this community like? Like, what was it kind of like to grow up here? It's a very diverse community, and so you get like a lot of different perspectives. I think that's one thing that helped me once I got to Northwestern was I had been around all types of people growing up. All right, so we're now in the Sugarland Town Square. What's kind of cool about this place? But yeah, just a cool spot to hang out. Uh, whenever we were in school growing up, like this would always be the spot we'd want to go. Friday night, mm -hmm. you know, you could go shopping at the mall and then come here just hanging out. This is where like all like the unique Sugarland restaurants are too. Really great food here. Yeah, you got the town hall here. Uh, during Christmas time, there's like a big tree they put up here. These selfie statues are the cause of much controversy in Sugarland. Why? A lot of people just hate it. <laughs> when I was a kid, I'd always like find out ways I could like jump in there and somehow sneak onto the horse. That my mom happened? getting mad. No, she didn't know. So going to your high school, when was the last time you were there? Last time I was there was definitely during quarantine. Okay. Um, that was like the easiest place to work out. You're going to surprise the team. What is that moment going to be like for you? Has it hit you yet about your status now as an NFL player getting to speak to high school football players? It really hasn't. When I feel like when I go talk to them, like I'm just, you know, someone who was in their shoes a few years ago and someone who took advantage of my opportunities, but I'm not like something special, not something that they couldn't do. Who sort of really made an impact on you during your time there? So Coach Ronell was definitely a huge impact on me. He came in my senior year and kind of just brought in this whole new philosophy of he wants to do hard stuff. I feel like that really laid the foundation because when, then when I got to Northwestern, I was like, wow, these workouts are kind of easy compared to what we were doing. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Good to see you. You too, man. Oh, man, congratulations. Appreciate man. it. So super proud of you. This is going to be awesome. They're going to flip out when they see you. Yeah, I can't wait. This is going to be some it. fun. First of all, I mean, good to, good to see y'all. Good to be back. I understand, like, y'all going through spring ball right now. I remember uh, my first spring ball, like, at Clements. I was a freshman. It was hard. I'd say the biggest thing I can tell you is that if you can buy into this culture of work and doing stuff the right way and, like, just being consistent over a long period of time, that's what's going to lead to you being successful, whether it's football or not. It was crazy to be back and kind of just like looking at those guys' faces and seeing them. I just see like myself and my teammates a few years ago. And then obviously to be greeted like that is crazy. Just crazy how far I've come, you know, these past few years. Yeah. You know, when I got to Northwestern, like everyone's always talking like Texas football versus Ohio football versus Florida versus California. Like everyone thinks their state's the best. It's the best. But like hopefully this can shed some light on like why Texas is what it is. I've been to high school football games where you would have thought it was college, just yeah. like how active the crowd was and how loud it was on the field. This is a great stop. Next up, on to the next place. Yeah, let's All do right, it. All right, let's do it. All right, Rashawn, where are we right now? We are in Oyster Creek Park. Uh, this is where I got engaged, my fiance, Stastny. So basically how it went was her and my sister are very close, like they're best friends. They're both into like taking pictures and stuff like that. So they were gonna like set up a picnic and kind of have a little picnic photo shoot. I was like, okay, like this is my access point. Were you nervous? I was really nervous, yeah. <laughs> I, it was such a huge moment. I definitely had butterflies. So we set up the picnic right here. Okay. I was just kind of taking the pictures like, you know, I was just there. Yeah. And then I had a photographer over there and then that's when I did it. I was really nervous, and so I don't know how smooth it came out, but <laughs> all I know is it was a success. You said yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so now we're off to get something that I've never had before, yeah. which is boba. 
Why are you into it? Okay, you ever had like a pizookie or something where it's like ice cream on top of a cookie? Uh-huh. I feel like boba is usually warm when they put it in and then the rest of the drink's cold. And so like you get that contrast. So there's like a temperature difference. Yeah, there's like a temperature difference. And then it's like, I mean, it's squishy. It's not like too chewy. Uh-huh. Uh, it's sweet. Stastny is on his first date was also getting boba. Really? Yeah. Okay. And so then like just throughout, you know, being together, we always like make a point to go get boba. Did you have boba after the engagement? We actually did. Nice. No joke. <laughs> what do you think? It's fun? Fun texture. This is not the best I've had. <laughs> I will say that. I'm a bit of a boba snob. The texture's on point, but there's no flavor. I have 10 boba balls. I would give this four boba balls. Ooh. Thank you for taking me here. Thank you for taking me on all the different stops on, I'm gonna call it, the Slater Sugarland Tour. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much. And this has been Homecoming, presented by American Airlines. When we return, we see how a Charger superfan and his family got the surprise of a lifetime from the Bulls. Uh, oh, that ain't, oh, that ain't bad. <laughs> Spiral, too. Welcome back to Chargers HQ powered by Toyota. Earlier this year, the home of a Charger superfan caught fire, causing him and his family to lose virtually everything. But now, let's take a look at how the Bolts stepped in when times got tough in this week's installment of Chargers Untold. Hello? Yeah, is this Taylor? This is, hi. Hey Taylor, this is John Spanos calling from the Chargers. How you doing? <laughs> What's up, man? How are you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. Hey. I, uh, I heard what happened to your house, man. I'm so, so sorry. I saw some of the videos online and, you know, more than anything else, I just wanted to call and, and, uh, and see how you're doing. So all of our stuff is smoke damage. Um, this is what's left of our house. Um, it was about 10, 10 o'clock and we, uh, we heard a popping noise and we went and checked our back bedroom and I mean our whole tree above our trailer was already on fire. So our bedroom is where the baby was sleeping. It landed on our house and burnt everything that we had. My dad had bought me this and it wasn't even opened. It's all right, man. Till the day I die, go Chargers. At the end of the day, my my wife and my daughter are okay, and that's all that matters to me. That's awesome. That That is an unbelievable attitude, a great one to have. Hey, look, you know, one of the reasons I'm calling too, I know you've been through a lot. I know during hard times, sometimes, you know, like a distraction and just getting away can be nice. I wanted to see if you'd be open to uh, to us flying you out here for a little visit, maybe getting a tour of the new stadium and, and, and doing some fun stuff. Yeah, man, that, that, I mean, that would be amazing. This is my wife, Shyla. This is our daughter Chandler. She's gonna be two on Friday. Um, I'm Taylor, and we are the Soto family. You know, I was kind of still in a state of shock, not realizing that, you know, I've, the owner called me personally, but he was very humble and, and very respectful and, and just wanted to make sure we were okay, you know? And uh, he got us a very, very nice hotel. Then it offered, you know, to fly us out here. Um, we decided to drive ultimately because my daughter's health she has autoimmune neutropenia, hemo hypertension, and hemochromatosis is what she has. So she's very, very uh, compromised to the whole COVID thing. So this is her first big trip and she did amazing. It's, it's so crazy looking. That's insane. I've never been to an NFL game. I've never been to an NFL stadium. We've seen Google pictures and, uh, dude, I'm happy to be here. Hi guys, I'm Taylor. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, dude. And we have a special guest for you sitting over here. How you doing? Is that Antonio Gates? <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. What's up, Goat? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's crazy. Hello. This is my wife, Shia. Hey, how you doing? Hey. And this is our daughter, Chan. How you doing? Well, y'all like me. It's yeah. my first time. This is my first time. Oh, it? yeah. So, is it really? Yeah, so I need to go on the tour as well. Watching Stella as a kid, you know, 
getting to meet him in person and him being nice to my daughter and my wife. And it's just a little kid moment comes out of you, you know? Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Before I throw this, I was a fullback and a linebacker. Okay, okay, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't hold it against me. <laughs> oh, that ain't, oh, that ain't bad. <laughs> Spiral too, you. I always knew that like football brings people together, but honestly, like, I, I was sitting there watching our house kind of in flames. I was just like, well, you know, we're, we're screwed now. And I never, ever dreamed that everyone would have done so much for us, and they did. He's a good player, though. I'm glad that he's oh, back. Yeah. I'm glad that he's back. Oh. He's healthy, man. Yeah. He's... We, he's a game changer. We had just put our daughter to sleep, and I moved my Derwin jersey from the couch, from the couch to the table. And the fire had started about 10 o'clock, and I, I just didn't think of it, so I ran out. And when the fire department was like, all right, you know, go see what you can get out of the fire. There's not much. So it was, on the, it was on the chair and I grabbed it. That was the first thing I saw and I said, okay. And that was the only thing I needed. Taylor! Shut up, dude. What's Welcome up? to the store, man. Hey, yeah, this is crazy. What's up? Heard what happened, man. Sorry about that, man. We want to come show y'all a good time. Get whatever you want. Yeah. From us to y'all. It's surreal to see him in person and shake his hand and we called my dad, he gave my dad a shout out. Me and your boy just in the stove, man, shopping a little bit. Oh, right on, right on, man. I think it does say a lot about him too because there could be football players who just, oh, that's great, thanks for, you know, I share your tweet, and the, but he made the time to come down here and meet us. Your jersey I, I took out of my room that night before and I left it and she threw a bag over it and it ended up burning the bag but saving the jersey, man. so I went and washed it. Man, I was gonna say, man, we gotta get you a new one and get it signed for you this time. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I was actually kind of more excited to see them. This is me? <laughs> there you go. Just to see the smiles on their faces and hit him saying, no way, you know, I really just wanted to just come out, just show my support in the way I could. We got to experience something amazing and I got to meet heroes of mine. I'll never have words. I can't tell you when you see someone smile how that can change your day. The fact that I can come back and reach back and put a smile on someone's face is, is always a blessing. It just shows that there's still good people in the world and that football is so much more than just a sport. As long as you have hope, you know, you have the will to fight, and, you know, and you'll never give up. And I think that's, to me, that's the message that I would I take from today. It's a life-changing experience, and I love the team even more, you know, the organization even more. It's so much more than a team now. I'm a Charger fan until I die. Welcome back to Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. In keeping with the theme of making a positive impact in the community, here's the story of how a local man risked his own life to save a woman at a youth football game in this week's Hometown Hero, presented by Grant Thornton. My name is Raymond Horn. I'm a veteran. I go to school right now and I'm a full-time parent. I have two sons. Um, I've been coaching them in football for five years now. I've been giving back to the Orange County area. We were in a flag football tournament. I actually had two games that day, so I was coaching my younger son's game. It was in the transition period between the next game. I was on a field. We were getting ready to do a coin toss, so I just now ended up grabbing the kids to take them to go to the middle. And then all of a sudden, I just seen this from the corner of my eye and this lady's like running across the field. Then moments later, I hear somebody saying, somebody's gonna kill me. He's like running down with these two knives. And when she ran onto the actual field that I was on, that's when I ended up seeing him. I grabbed him, did what I needed to do, take him down. And then once I got him on the ground, she told me thank you for saving her life. Seeing the cops, I was like, they can do their job. I need to go do my job and went right back into my coaching aspect. I was in the Marines for four years, two combat tours. so. I'm trained to be able to know when something's gonna be hostile, when something's not. This guy was there to kill somebody. Thank you to the Los Angeles Chargers and Grant Thornton. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. That'll do it for this week's Chargers HQ, powered by Toyota. But we'll be back next week with more Chargers content ahead of the week eight game against the New England Patriots. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Haley Elwood, good night.